Translated by the Chung Thai Translation Committee. November 2008. From the Chinese by the Third Patriarch Seng Kin, 6th century. The following prior English translations and commentaries were used as References, Faith in Mind by Master Sheng Yan, HSIN HSIN Ming, inscribed on The Believing Mind by R. H. Blythe, HSIN HSIN Ming, Verses on the Faith Mind by Richard B. Clark, The Book of Nothing, A Song of Enlightenment by Philip Dunn and Peter Jordan, Trust in Mind by Stanley Lombard, Trust in Mind The Rebellion of Chinese Sin by Mu Soeng, Inscribed on the Believing Mind By D. T. Suzuki, On Trust in the Heart by Arthur Whaley, and Have Faith in Your Mind by L. U. Kuan Yu, Charles Luck The Chung Tai Translation Committee comprises of Dharma Masters and Lay Disciples and convenes regularly. To view or download other sutra translations by CTTC, visit Dharma Gems on http://sunnyvale.ctzen.org. Comments and suggestions may be sent to translation at ctzen.org. Namo Fundamental Teacher Sheikh Yamuni Buddha. Sutra Opening Gatha. The Dharma, infinitely profound and subtle, is rarely encountered even in a million kulpas. Now we are able to hear, study, and follow it. May we fully realize the Tathagata's true meaning. Trust in Mind 1. Trust in Mind 2. Trust I in Mind By Third Patriarch Sen Kan the Supreme Way is difficult. Only for those who pick and choose. Simply let go of love and hate. The way will fully reveal itself. The slightest distinction results in a difference as great as heaven and earth. For the way to manifest, hold not to likes and dislikes. The contention of likes and dislikes is a disease of the mind. Without realizing the profound principle, it is futile to practice stillness. Intrinsically perfect like the great void, without lack, without excess, in choosing to grasp or reject, one is blind to suchness. Neither pursue conditioned existence, nor stay in idle emptiness. In oneness and equality, all self-boundaries dissolve. Trying to still action is an action itself. Still trapped in duality, how can you recognize oneness? Failing to penetrate the meaning of oneness, neither side will function. Banishing existence entwines you in existence. Pursuing emptiness turns you away from it. Trust in mind. 3. Trust in mind. 4. The more you talk and think, the more you go astray. Cease all speech and thought. Then everywhere you are with the way. To attain the principle, return to the source. Pursuing reflections, the essence is lost. Inner illumination, in a moment, surpasses idle emptiness. The appearance of this idle emptiness results entirely from deluded views. No need to search for truth. Just put to rest all views. Abide not in dualistic views. Take heed not to pursue them. As soon as right and wrong arise, the mind is bewildered and lost. Two comes from one. Hold on not even to one. When not even one thought arises, all dermas are flawless. Free of flaws, free of dermas. No arising, no thought. 
the subject disappears with its object. The object vanishes without its subject. Objects are objects because of subjects. Subjects are subjects because of objects. Know that these two are essentially of one emptiness. The one emptiness unites opposites, equally pervading all phenomena. Trust in mind. 5. Trust in mind. 6. Not differentiating what is fine or coarse. How can there be any preferences? The great way is all embracing. Neither easy nor difficult. The narrow minded doubt this. In haste, they fall behind. With clinging one loses judgment. And will surely go astray. Let everything follow its own nature. The essence neither goes nor stays. To follow your true nature is to unite with the way. Be at ease and worries will cease. Fixation of thought is unnatural. Yet laziness of mind is undesirable. Not wanting to wear down the spirit. Why do you hold dear or alienate? To enter the one vehicle. Be not prejudiced against the six dusts. To have no prejudice toward the six dusts. Is to come into true enlightenment. The wise abide in Wu Wei. The fools entangle themselves. Dharmas do not differ. Yet the deluded desire and cling. To seek the mind with the mind. Is this not a great error? In delusion chaos and stillness arise. In enlightenment there is no desire and aversion. The duality of all things comes from false discrimination. Trust in mind. 7. Trust in mind. 8. Dreams, illusions, like flowers in the sky. How can they be worth grasping? Gain and loss, right and wrong. Abandon these at once. If your eyes are open, dreams will naturally cease. If the mind makes no distinctions, all dharmas are of one suchness. In the profound essence of this suchness, one abandons all conditioning. Beholding the myriad dharmas in their entirety, things return to their natural state. As all grounds for distinction vanish, nothing can be compared or described. When what is still moves, there is no motion. When what is moving stops, there is no stillness. Since two cannot be established, how can there be one? Reaching the ultimate, rules and measures are non-existent. Achieving a mind of impartiality, all striving comes to an end. Doubts are completely cleared. In right faith the mind is set straight. Nothing to linger upon. Nothing to remember. Clear, empty, and self-illuminating. The mind exerts no effort. Trust in mind. 9. Trust in mind. 10. This is beyond the sphere of thought, which reason and feeling cannot fathom. In the Dharma realm of true suchness, there are neither self nor others. To reach accord with it at once, just practice non-duality. Non-duality embodies all things, as all things are inseparable. The wise everywhere, all follow this teaching. The way transcends time and space. One thought for ten thousand years. Being nowhere yet everywhere. All places are right before your eyes. The smallest is the same as the largest. In the realm free of delusions. The largest is the same as the smallest. No boundaries or marks can be seen. Existence is precisely non-existence. 
Non-existence is precisely existence. If you cannot realize this, then you should change your ways. One is everything. Everything is one. If you can realize this, why worry about not reaching perfection? Trust in the non-duality of mind. Non-duality results from trust in mind. Beyond words and speech, it is neither past, present, nor future. 11. Three Refuges I take refuge in the Buddha, may all sentient beings understand the Great Way profoundly and bring forth the Bodhi mind. I take refuge in the Dharma, may all sentient beings deeply enter the Sutra treasury and have wisdom vast as the sea. I take refuge in the Sangha, may all sentient beings form together a great assembly one and all in harmony. Four great vows. Countless are sentient beings, I vow to liberate. Endless are afflictions, I vow to eradicate. Measureless are the dharmas, I vow to master. Supreme is the Buddha way, I vow to attain. 12. Repentance. All the harm I have ever done, since time immemorial, are caused by greed, anger, and ignorance, and produced through my body, speech, and will. Now I confess and amend all. Dedication of Merits May the merits of our deeds reach every part of the world. Sentient beings large and small all attain enlightenment. Mahaprajnapatamita Yuan